On a scale of one to bright, my studio lights are blinding. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing a video that a whole two people asked for. And <laughs> that is my yellow, stop. That is my yellow, orange, something, something eyeshadow look. Oh, before we get started, make sure you like this video if you want to see more makeup tutorials that are poorly organized. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see the rest of my content that is poorly organized. So, let's get started. I haven't worn a full face of makeup in probably a month. I've been letting my skin breathe and wearing like really minimal makeup and it's been really great. I love like showing off my freckles, but today I decided because my face has decided to have all of the stars align in pimples, um, we're gonna do a full face of makeup. I'm gonna start with priming my eyes, like always, with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Y'all know what it is. And I'm just taking it on a flat brush like this. And I've already done all my skincare, so my skin is moisturized. I did a sheet mask this morning in an attempt to fix my face because it's not having it. I'm so itchy. I also haven't filmed a video in like a month. No, like three weeks. I haven't filmed a video in like three weeks. Because I had all of those pre-filmed videos, but guess what? We're out of pre-filmed videos. So now I gotta pre-film a gazillion more. Start, we are just gonna lay some color down and we're gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm gonna go in with this super neon yellow shade. Because that's the lighter of the two yellows that's in the palette and that's gonna give us a good bit of color to lay down. And I'm just gonna pack this into the crease. And then start to blend it up towards the brow bone. Just keep packing on that color until you get it as pigmented as you want. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade of yellow in here on the same brush. And I'm just gonna darken up that yellow. You know, hang on, we gotta do something, hang on. My mom has been telling me to clean my handheld mirror, which is a valid thing to ask for, I accept that. So I'm gonna do that real quick. It's not gonna get very clean because I told her to just buy me a new one, millennial problems, am I right? Um, I'm not a millennial, fun fact. I'm a Gen Z, which is very disappointing. No offense to the Gen Z, but just saying. Okay, how's that mom? Is that better? Are you happy? Okay. So I'm just gonna keep packing on that color. And make sure it is very well blended out. No harsh lines, y'all know the drill by now. And so it'll look something like this. Very simple. And then what we're going to do, we're gonna go in with some orange gonna go in with the one matte orange shade in the palette on a smaller brush like this and I'm gonna start pushing that into the outer V and into the crease just a little bit and then keep layering until you're happy with it and then make sure the yellow and the orange are very well blended together. And end up looking like this. It's gonna look kinda weird, kinda splotchy for a little bit, but that is okay. Now that we've got the base down, we are gonna go in and cut the crease. And for that, I'm gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm gonna take it on a flat, dense brush like this, if it'll focus. But first, I'm just gonna kinda load it up on the lid just to lay down the color and then we'll clean it up here in a minute. 
so it's gonna end up looking really messy really gross looking but that's okay that's what we want and then I'm just gonna load it up on the brush and clean it up and then because it is super wet and gross I'm just gonna set that with a white eyeshadow whatever white eyeshadow your heart desires go ahead and set it with and then what I am going to do now that we've got two pretty harsh lines there I'm going to blend a shimmery yellow in with the orange and the white and for that I'm taking the makeup revolution forever flawless constellation palette I just got this so I'm very excited to use it and I'm gonna go in with solar more of a gold shade so we're gonna see how that works i think it's gonna be okay i'm gonna take it on my finger and just tap it into the center here oh yeah oh yeah that's good just blending the two together and then we will go in with more orange worry not now that we're here I'm gonna go in with some more orange and blend the two together and then add more of the shimmer wherever you feel like you need to i'm gonna put a little bit more in there and then going back in with the same mustardy yellow shade we started with in the bh cosmetics palette i'm just gonna clean up that crease a little bit define it a little bit more blend some color and there we go so real quick i am just going to match the other eye and then we will move on so we are matching now i'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner for eyeliner i'm gonna be using my favorite liquid liner on planet earth y'all know it's the benefit roller lash roller liner there it is roller liner y'all know i love this thing so much best eyeliner planet earth so I'm gonna go ahead and do my wings real quick and then we will continue. Go ahead and clean up any fallout that you have from your eyeshadow and then we will move on to the base. Oh, my skin is so dry. Okay, primer, I'm gonna be going in with something new that I've been trying a little bit lately, which I've been loving. And this is the Stila Sheer Illumination Lingerie Souffle Primer. First of all, can we talk about this packaging? So cute. But what I've been liking about this primer is that it fills the pores really nice. It creates a really subtle glow to the skin. It hydrates, but it also like, it's not a super dewy primer, so it doesn't like send, if you have any oil production, through the roof onto foundation so since i have learned that my cover effects powder oxidizes my foundation i'm gonna be going in with a foundation that is too pale for me right now and that is my smashbox studio skin in the color 0.1 this color is definitely too pale for me right now totally acknowledge that but this powder oxidizes my foundation it does it with all of them so i'm going to be using this to kind of balance it out a little bit since it's too pale uh and we're going to hope that works so okay see you can definitely tell it is too pale for me right now but that is a-okay i'm going to go in with my dry beauty blender and just a little bit of product and just go over my whole face to really press that foundation into the skin. Make it look as natural as I can. Time to go in with concealer. That is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 02. And I'm also gonna be blending out with the other side of my dry beauty blender. Okay, for setting the under eyes, I'm gonna be using the powder from the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. Just cause I've noticed this does a really good job for setting the under eye area. 
So I'm gonna be using that and then going in with the Cover FX powder for the rest of my face. What is your guys' favorite setting powder? Translucent, not translucent, loose, pressed. What's your guys' favorite powder? I need a new one. On, let's get into bronzer and all that fun stuff. But first we're gonna finish up the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do for that is we're just gonna do yellow and then orange on the outer corner. Super easy. Then for the waterline, we're gonna go in with that same um, jumbo eye pencil in milk. Alrighty, there's that. So this is a little bit dark for me. I would like for them to do the same with the gimme brow that they did with the precisely my brow pencil and the goof proof because if they added a shade in gimme brow that was like 2.75 and precisely my brow that would be amazing i would be a very happy redhead for bronzer i'm going to be going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Been using this again now that I am not as ghostly white as I usually am. I went outside for maybe two seconds and I got more red. I don't get tan, I get more red. So, alrighty. Let's go in with blush. For blush today, I'm gonna be using the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fig Pop. Now these are really pigmented, so I'm going to be going in sparingly with this one because if I go to ham, ooh, I really like this blush color. It's peachy enough to look like more of a neutral tone blush, but it still gives a really pretty blush tone. It's really pretty. Make my nose less of a beacon. So back in with my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette, I'm just gonna go in with that contour shade. Eh. On a small fluffy brush, just to give it some dimension so just the highlight can be a beacon, not my whole nose. Okay, let's go in with some highlighter, highlight our whole existence. For highlighter, I'm gonna be going in with the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Opulence love this highlighter so much. It is so pretty. It's like a, the way it highlights when you use it with a brush is just, oh, look at that. Gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Of course, y'all know me. Need to be a beacon of light for the subscribers. So go ham with your highlighter. So before we move on and do mascara, lashes, and lips, I'm gonna set everything down, set all the powders together, make myself look less gross, and I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Excellent. Y'all, I almost forgot to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. Ooh, that would have been traumatizing. I'm gonna go in with my same highlighter, my Stila one that I used on my face. All right, now that we are set in place, let's go ahead and go in with mascara. So, for mascara, I'm gonna be using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I'm going to pop on some lashes real quick. I'm gonna be using the Ardell Double Up 207s. Y'all already know. And then we'll do a lip, and then we're gonna be done. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, we have lashes on. We are ready to move on to our final step, which is the lip. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina. So I'm gonna slap that on. I am terrible at putting lipstick on on camera, so I'm gonna do that off camera and then we will be back. All right, everybody, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked how it turned out. I hope you guys like recreating it. If you did, make sure you tag me so I can see your recreations of this look. 